Good morning or afternoon, wherever you're at, whenever you're watching this. It's Gail. I'm here with the weekly energies for the collective, lightworkers, starseeds. What's going on this week for healing, mission, whatever comes up. I've already got cards flying out. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Okay, they're flying all over the place, so apparently there's a lot to say. So you're doing some juggling. And there's some emotions. Ooh, in truth. Okay, interesting. Let's see if you can see all those. Hmm. Okay, so I, I'm feeling like this is a week for balancing some things out. Uh, this could be balancing priorities, balancing, could be balancing your own, making yourself a priority, um, balancing your own self-care, your own healing I'm picking up boundaries as well. So getting a better feel for your boundaries and I know this is pentacles, but I, with the page of swords here, I'm feeling like not just getting, getting a feel for those boundaries or getting clear on those boundaries and, and balancing things out. But speaking up, <laughs> speaking that to whoever needs to hear it, speaking your truth. I feel like a lot of light workers and star seeds have been juggling a lot of things. In particular, over the last year, a lot of self healing, a lot of it's like a recalibrating energy I'm sensing and it's, it's starting to shift. It's starting to that energy of, oh my gosh, like all of these things are changing or falling away or these new truths coming to light. And it, it's kind of like been this one thing after another type of energy and things are starting to it's like if you threw up a bunch of, um, like if you threw up a bunch of confetti, right? And it just goes everywhere. Eventually that's going to come down and settle into place. And that's what I'm feeling is starting to happen this week is that all of those things are starting to fall into place for your highest good. And so there's a piece here with this um, two of pentacles of trusting that. You know, trusting that, that things are starting to settle down. They're starting to settle into their proper places for you. And it's still going to require, you know, verbalizing, communicating your truth to whoever. <laughs> whoever. So that might be in a public way. That might be, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe it's somebody on your team. Maybe it's somebody in your personal life. But whatever it is. It, it's like now that you're clear about what the boundaries and the balance is for you, it's time to communicate. It's time to put forth some um, agreements with people this week. So the, three, the page of cups and the three of cups. So I'm getting three, right? <laughs> there's three, there's three people in the page of cups and there's obviously three people in the three of cups. So, and to me, I'm picking up a vibe of collaboration. So it, there could be some projects that you've been working on that you've been collaborating with others on that are going to come to fruition this week. It could also be, if, if that's not happening, that might be the suggestion is how can you now, now that you're clear on 
you and in, in your direction and your intentions, how can you now go out and collaborate with others to help you move forward with those intentions? And it's, oh, there's a full moon here. So I know that there's a full moon coming, coming up. And I'm feeling like just a hint of a warning with the Page of Cups. So look at the difference between these two groups of people, right? So this is, <clears throat> in this card, you know, he's he's drinking from his own cup. He's pouring into himself. But he's got like these tag-alongs, right? <laughs> that they're like, oh, yeah, you know, give to me, give to me, give to me. And what I'm feeling is that this this might be what's, what you're balancing out, Um that there's been this unequal give and take, you know, where you've been giving, giving, giving to others, wanting to collaborate with others, um, but but you've been doing the majority of the work. And so what I'm feeling is that you've recognized that, so bravo, um, and you've pulled back and you're pouring into yourself. But, you know, these these people whoever might be for you or these situations, whatever it might be for you, it's still kind of in the background. And so I'm, I'm just feeling like this is a little warning of, you know, just, just continue to be present to that and aware of that. And to recognize that your soul brothers and sisters are out there. The, the ones that truly want to support you, want to celebrate you, want to celebrate with you, um, want to equally collaborate like they're all kind of equally together here uh, so I'm also getting this transition from you kind of being the one that does does all the work and you've got people riding coattails on that into finding the people or the situations that are actually going to be reciprocal for you so that's pretty awesome um, but these two cards here are key it's like You've been working on balancing this out. You're aware that this is going on. These people are out here and you have to communicate. You have to, you have to let these people know yet yeah, no more. Um, these are my boundaries. Uh, you know, you're more than welcome to stay, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be an equal give and take. So that's what I'm feeling for the energies this week, which is awesome. Um, also this new, uh, Sorry, this full moon that's coming up is in Aquarius. Um, so I'm also feeling like you may be getting um, hits of in, in inspiration leading up to that. And it's kind of like, I just, I just heard go time. You know, so if you're getting inspired ideas, it's like don't, don't, um, Now's the time to take action on them, right? So trust that that these ideas are for you and you can also trust yourself to move forward with these, these ideas. You can trust in the universe. Um, you can trust the messages that you're receiving right now. And it's, it's a time to move forward on this inspiration and innovation. All right, I'm going to pull a couple of Oracle cards as well. Let's see what comes up. We've got the Spirit Animal Oracle. And I will also pull a Sacred Rebel Oracle card too. All right, I think I'm just getting one. Clear out the clutter. Yeah. It, and again, like I feel like it's clear out the hangers, the hangers on. Is that, I don't even know if that's like, you know what I mean though. It's like clear, it, it, it is clear out the clutter within you. So if you've got some negative negativity, um, negative feelings, you know, if there's some work that needs to be done to release negativity, like definitely continue to do work around that. Um, but also, you know, that's, that's internal, that's emotional, that's energetic. Keep doing that work and don't forget, 
we're on the earthly plane. So there may be situations, there may be people that you also need to clear out. Okay. Oh, what the heck? What did I just say? Bring your ideas to life. So this, and look, this also kind of looks like the, the full moon. Um, and this is very watery energy, but also very electric. And so it, it, it's like, you're going to be getting those divine inspirations coming through during this time, during this, this full moon cycle that's coming in. Um, and, and it's like, take action, you know, flow with that, move with that. Um, you know, these eels, they're, they're like, it's like they float through the water, right? It's very cool. Um, if you've ever seen them on TV or in real life, it's like they don't sit, they don't always sit still. And so it's like when that spark comes in, get on it, <laughs> get on it is what I'm, what I'm getting. Um, uh, don't, <sighs> yeah, it, it's like, you may have, I'm sensing that some of you may have a tendency to, to second guess, um, Or you may have this tendency to uh, delay, like, oh, I'll do it when, right? Like, I'll do it when I have the money. Or I'll do it when I'm more successful. And it's like, this is not the time for that, <laughs> right? That's not going to serve you during this time. The universe is here supporting you and, and literally sending you these downloads to act upon. That's what I'm picking up here. All right. What do the sacred rebels have to say? Overall, pretty favorable message coming through. I'm feeling like you're really starting to get a sense of your inner power, like what that means for you as well. Um, it's like you're really coming into that at this time, which is awesome. <laughs> Guys, I can't make this up. Listening for truth, right? So listening for truth. Okay, so here's, I'm going to move these out of the way, right? Listening for truth. Who truly wants to support me, who's acting like they want to support me, but really they're just wanting to, to benefit from my efforts and who truly wants to collaborate. Okay. Listening for that truth and wielding your truth, right. And sharing it in a way that others hear you. Okay. So that they can listen to your truth as well. Wow. Very powerful energies coming in this week. Um, just tuning in to see if there's anything else. Oh, that's interesting. So they, they brought, look at this. I didn't notice this before, but this also looks like a moon. So there's something, there's something here. Look, Moon, moon, <laughs> moon. There's something here about the full moon. And also, they brought my attention to the frog card. And it made me think of peepers. You know, the, the <laughs> I think those are frogs, you know, at, at, at dusk or in the evening. Um, and they peep, right? They sing. So there's something here about singing in the full moon. So I don't know, maybe, maybe you're contemplating doing some sort of full moon ritual. Um, and what I'm sensing from that is like, if, if that's something that's, that's sort of been an inspired download for you, like do it, do it because there's, there's something here that feels very joyous about that. Like singing the moonlight. I don't know. Dancing in the moonlight. <laughs> oh, isn't that a song? Oh, that's really interesting. So, but there's something about playing, singing, like bringing some joy to whatever your, um, moon ritual might happen to be. So have fun with that. Um, uh, if this resonates with you, please like, drop me a comment. I'll also post this over to my YouTube channel. Feel free to pop on over there. Su subscribe if you're not a subscriber. 
Um, I, I do these weekly energy videos over there, but I also do a lot of educational videos in regards to visibility and um, visibility blocks and clearing those blocks. So feel free to check that out as well. Hope you have a great week. Bye.